Stocks and Garters, First Person Point of View. I am Anon, trying on Rarity's take on the Playboy Bunny suit for Stallions. It's still a work in progress, but at least this version gives the boys a little room to breathe down there. For her part, Rarity is frowning at a report from her accountant. <sighs> not quite enough. I need at least... I take a few awkward steps towards her, not sure how I feel about the prototype. It covers my butt and technically my balls, but a good portion of non -ball sack is open to the air. What's up? Rarity sets the report aside and looks at me apologetically. Oh, you have changed, darling. How are you finding the fit? I shrug. Pretty good, actually. Feels kinda weird to have ball cleavage on display, but I imagine my regular customers will be more used to that. Now, what are you worrying about over here? She makes a few notes and sighs. It's nothing too weighty, I just hoped that I would have enough save to expand into Philadelphia in time for the fall season. I glance at the spreadsheets, not that I really know what to look for. Rarity smirks as I abandon the effort and sit across from her. I roll my eyes. Me being bad at math has nothing to do with being a guy no matter what she says. How about going public? The fashionista raises an eyebrow. Going public? Advertising that we can't expand into Philadelphia yet? I shake my head. No, I mean going from a private company to a public company, selling stock to fund the Philadelphia branch. She frowns. We already sell as much stock as we can. Please explain exactly what you mean by a public company, darling. I scratch my cheek. I would have thought... Well, what I mean is you would make, like, 100 or so stocks. Basically, whoever owns at least one stock gets a proportional percentage of ownership of the company. As your company grows more successful, the stock becomes more valuable and can be resold at a profit. Rarity tilts her head in consideration. How would such partial ownership work, especially if the stocks are being bought and sold at a whim? I shrug. I think everyone- Every pony? I glare at her, but she just smirks. <sighs> I still say that's specious, but whatever. Every small horse who owns a number of stocks above a threshold amount attends stockholder meetings and has a say in how the company is run. That's why you should always have more than half of the stocks yourself, so no one- No small horse can completely overrule you about how you run your company. The mayor looks at me skeptically. So, I would be taking money in exchange for having to listen to a bunch of busybodies who may or may not know anything about the fashion industry for the rest of the time that I own the business? I smile sheepishly. Uh, yes? Rarity shakes her head with a chuckle. I still have a hard time believing that your world was run by stallions. But the stock scheme is exactly the sort of thing that overly meddlesome stallions would come up with. I squawk. Hey! She gives me an amused look. <laughs> what other reason would they have to invest in stocks if it wasn't to meddle in Mare's work? I definitely do not pout, even if Rarity is making her... Oh, how cute! He's pouting! Face. Now look, the main thing most people did with stocks is trade them, like you would buy them when they were cheap, then sell them when they were valuable. She raises an eyebrow. Uh, people would buy stock from companies that were in decline? Okay, I might just maybe be pouting. Well, it might go up in value, or there are shorts and limit buys and stuff. Rarity raises her other eyebrow. And those are? I stare down at the table as my face heats up in embarrassment. I mumble. Uh, I don't know. Stock things. Rarity trots over and pecks me on the cheek. Oh, that's okay, darling. You are quite easily cute enough to not need to know how even human business works. I cover my face and groan. I'm not cute. My mare friend giggles. Oh, you are adorable. And you gave me an idea for what to do. I brighten up immediately. I did? What is it? She smirks. You highlighted how nosy stallions can be, so I thought I would offer the Philadelphia lead a one-time deal. For a significant investment, I'll give them a custom adjustment of one of the full line of outfits and send them updates about who else of note has bought which outfit from me for the fall season. Not only will the investments pay for their initial cost of setting up a branch, but once it opens, the stallions will rush to get their preferred outfit and then choose even more once they know what they're up against. It will be a fashion-feeding frenzy! I smile in admiration of her cunning and enthusiasm. Sounds like a good plan, though sending all those reports sounds like a pain in the flank. Rarity shrugs. That's why it's one time only, darling. I grunt an understanding and stand up. I feel the boys get to Mare and glance down at the damp patch on the stool seat in mild disgust. Yeah, ball cleavage might be a mistake. Leaving ball sweat everywhere can't be hygienic. Rarity has the grace to blush. That's a feature, darling, not a flaw. I roll my eyes. <laughs> Mares. She smirks. Oh, but you still love me. Even if I would drag my teats across two miles of broken glass to huff your ball sweat. I pick her up and throw her over my shoulder. 
Ah, uh, none of that. I like your teats as they are, plump and not lacerated by miles of broken glass. Rarity hums happily as I carry her to the bedroom. Then it's a good thing that I can huff straight from the source. Rarity is many things. Cunning, ambitious, eloquent, graceful, generous, loving, and a huge pervert. I throw her on the bed with a pump, but I wouldn't have her any other way. Ah oh yes, Sanan, the one true man who can fit the playboy role perfectly. You just wouldn't have it any other way. Now let's get on to our handsome and beautiful donators. Top donators, Peter Coulthard, J10 Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. TacoCat598, Zar630, Strix, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Pastel Skies, Austin Rowland, CrazyColor557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Lyrae, Dospo, Delta Omega, Jack Hedge, RuneSight9852, Madman Stan, Leslie Perkett, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, Line God 12 Sorcerer Constantine, Hud Zaza, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.